Hey everyone, it's Up North Collectors here doing a Rookie Chase video. We have 22 packs from 2017 all the way to 2020 20 Bowman. So we got some good stuff in here. Hopefully we can pull something big. Actually, we may have a 2016 pack in here. I can't remember. Anyways, we got 22 packs. Let's look at them right now, see what we have in this break. We're obviously chasing the big name rookies like Otani, Acuna, uh, Glaber Torres, Soto, uh, Bo Bichette, Gavin Lux, you name it. The list goes on and on and on. So so we got two of these. Just getting to the packs here. Two of these 19 Heritage High Number Baseball Rack Packs. Actually, and then we have some more Heritage High Number. We got two Heritage High Number These are from, from Blaster. Blaster. Yep. Um, we got two 19 Update Hobby Packs. We got two 17 Series 1 Hobby Packs. So judges in that. Um, we've got a couple of these, two 18 Series 1 Hobby Packs. Of course, Raphael Devers. Um, we've got two of these. These are fun. Uh, 19 Series 2 Value Packs or Hanger Packs. Um, we've got a Archives and an Allen and Ginter. This Allen and Ginter is from 2017. This Archives is from 2019. Um, I think this is a 2017 pack as well. Um, oh, no, this is 2018. 18, 2018 yep. Stadium Club. Yeah, I didn't get in the 2016 I one. I saw this. it. I saw the 2016 in our stack, but I didn't put it in there. 19 Allen and Ginter value pack. Um, a Series 1 hobby. And Wait, do we have two of these? or No, we don't. Um, no, just one. 19 update hanger pack. Yeah, the hobby was the last pack out of the box. So we've got a 2020 Bowman Cello pack, 2019 update Chrome. Do you want to open up a Bowman Cello or a 19 Series 2 hanger box? Either one, doesn't matter. I'll let you pick, and then Not people very, can complain yeah, no, if you complain pick that a, I rig it. Um, and then a 2020 Bowman hanger pack. People have been doing really well out of these. Actually, we sold some on our Instagram story. One of the people that got some, shout out to him on Instagram, the little card collector, um, hit like a green autograph and a couple other things out of just like two of these packs. So there's some good stuff in these for sure. Yeah, it. I haven't seen them lately either. So I don't know if people are just taking them all or if they're just not as prevalent as the blasters and the value packs, but... The Bowman's been a little bit more available recently. I think people are realizing it's a lot harder to hit anything out of them uh, than they thought. And there's just way more of it. That's nice. I'm yeah, glad. that's a good. That's a good start. Is that a, okay, that's an SP. Yeah. I was gonna say that Vlad was kind in the middle, so it could have been something, but. Um, Freddie Glavis and a Matt Harvey. That Dominic Smith in that pack was an SP as well. We've been finding a lot more heritage uh, high number out there at retail stores, and we haven't been to that many. Obviously, with you know COVID and the travel restrictions that were on us, um, def definitely hard to go out retail shopping like we used to. So, yes, sir, we got some 2017 Ginter. This is one of my more favorite Ginter cards. These look cool. Um, I like these kind of portraity looking things. Dansby Swanson rookie. Yeah, they have a little more color in them with that yeah. kind of that backsplash to them, I guess. These are one of my favorite all time yeah, inserts. Yeah, there's Luke's Small favorite. Smallmouth bass. Small jig. Cole Hamill's mini. It's an A and G back. I think the set actually had a pretty rough go. It did. It was. It was not. It was pretty rough. It was bad. There's just there's not much in it. Irish golfer dude. I remember these boxes, I think, really tanked in price. At first, yeah. yeah I think first. they're more expensive and, yeah, now. Yeah, now, yeah, everything Obviously, is so now. But, Mitch yeah. Hanniger, rookie. There are a lot of rookies in that pack. Um, let's do... Uh, we'll do this one. 2019 Update Hobby. Looking for Keston. I'm pretty big on Luis Areas, so hopefully we can hit a parallel or something of him. Um, there's, this is an okay set. I think right now there's a Keston rookie debut. I think right now the set's actually a little bit overvalued. <coughs> um, just be com in comparison to some of the other products, just because of the names in here. Um, I mean, I, you do have the Vlad, um, but the Vlad really isn't his... I mean, the real Vlad that will be ch sought more sought after is going to be the um, Series 2 Vlad SP. So. Right, right. The Yeah, it... 
I mean, it is and it isn't overvalued. I mean, I would say just because of so many rookies that could yeah. take off, but at the same time, none of them are huge standouts either. So I guess you could argue either way on that Mitch one. Mitch Keller rookie. Yeah, I don't. I won't say it's like way overvalued, but I definitely think that I'd take 18 series one over a 19 update. So. Yeah. Well, yeah, the 18 series one has a lot of proven guys. I mean, two of them are yeah. pitchers, Bueller and Flaherty, but good pitchers and then obviously Devers I think Devers is in for a big spike so we'll see um, but I don't know if that'll ever happen if baseball there does, you there's go. a nice Bueller rookie yeah, right there that's nice he, he definitely is one of the best pitchers in baseball as of the last two years Walker Bueller get into some 2017 series one hobby you could hit a monster card out of here hit some kind of judge Bregman Benintendi um, rookie stuff so yeah it's been a while since we hit a Really big card. That's and a Kata's good one. in there too. Yeah, um, it's a nice rookie for sure. I forgot. This is the like one of the last years that they did these rediscover tops. Yeah, it was what like ninety. Yeah, yeah, ninety. So, Beltre Solarte. That's a cool card. Solarte. The pose. Yeah, just the picture. Colby Rasmus. All right. Next up, we're going to go ahead and do eighteen Stadium Club. I know Glaber's in here. I don't. Is Acuna in this or I don't know? Yeah, I, I don't, think he is. is. I think he? he is. Yep, I'm pretty sure he is. I just don't remember his cards out of this. Like, I I think he is too, but I don't know. You have to let us know. Um, unless we pull one, then we'll know for sure. Miguel Sano, Beltre, um, Cueto, Andrew Miller, Wade Boggs, red. Dude's got some hairy arms. <clears throat> yeah, the red foil, Chicken Man. Med Rosario rookie, Mitch Garver rookie, Greg Allen rookie, and Harrison Bader rookie. Lots of rookies. It's not the big not names. The right names. I mean, Harrison Bader's decent, that's for sure, but. 19 Heritage high value pack now. Let's see if we can hit something big out of here. There is something. Ooh, a Chrome Refractor. That's what happens when Saucy. you only go after Bowman and you forget and you forget and leave Heritage High number behind. Yeah, I mean honestly, look at this could be a big card if you get a good name. Yeah, Tatis, Alonso first, Eloy Claw sticker, an Eloy. Mm, Padres. Oh, oh there we dang. go. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, so that's out of a. Four dollar value pack. Yeah, four dollar clearance value pack yeah. right there. This is a big card. If you don't know much about Heritage, these chrome refractors are very sought after. Um, super cool. One of these, the past two years, the chrome refractors have looked. Yeah, awesome. the last two years they've looked really good. This is numbered out of five sixty nine, so obviously a little higher numbered. But this is kind of the chrome and the chrome refractor are the chase card. This is a pretty big card. I think um, down the road these could catch on to be more popular. They look they're amazing. So nice looking. You can go ahead and sleeve that. That right one away. is actually pretty well centered. Yeah, it is a. It looked I, a little bit off. It's but, a tiny bit left to right off, but it. The rest of the card looks really clean. That might may be a grader. Yeah, it may on. be. It may be one to submit. Anyway, that is a that's an awesome. Pull I saw out of that the stuff. I saw the Padres and I saw the bat and I thought that's a yeah, that's, that's a Tatis. That's a I know tatis, it was a Tatis but too. I didn't want to jump. And too a Pete a Alonso. Pete what a pack. That's a good pack. I didn't want to jump on it too early. Go back to that last second to last card. True. That almost looks like a. Doesn't that look like a portrait? Like somebody painted that one or something? Compared know, to it's, look, it's like a super close. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, I got All right, two so two. what do I want to do here? That was a uh, pretty that good. That was baller. Pull right there. Yeah, it's gonna be tough to top that one. Yeah, it is. But we got a whole bunch left. We're not even halfway through. It's been a pretty good rookie chaser. Yeah, so it has far. already. That's a that's a nice one right off the bat. This is one of the best cards in update. Uh, the Vlad. Yep. Um, in terms one. of a base rookie, that's one of the best ones you can get. Or probably, I think value-wise, it may be the best one. They were selling for quite a bit a little while They're back. They're still like five or six bucks, I think. So They were selling for quite a bit more than that, I, I believe. I've seen them on Instagram for like five, six yeah. bucks. So. But he may have dropped, though, the prices. They, they, they do change. Walker Bueller, Arenado, Hernandez. Let's just say this. They don't always go up. There's a Pete home run derby. That's a nice one, Austin Riley. Um, Braves have a super. Yeah, Austin uh, Riley was one of those guys that took off, 
in was playing amazing and then kind of slowed down. We actually pulled his printing blade out yeah, of we did. <laughs> update. So, yep. uh, 19 series two value pack. You could hit a absolute. I mean, Tatis and like Pete Alonso rainbow foils are going for a couple. Like Tatis yeah, is and, selling for a couple hundred bucks on a rainbow. So and the gold and the golds are worth more than that. So you know you get something like that out of one of these, uh, whatever these were when we bought them, five bucks. So. Yep. If you find these anywhere, definitely if you have a little couple extra bucks to spend, pick pick one up because uh, there'll be usually a few good cards in here. Not maybe not not every one. Every but one, but even if you get one of these, it's 150 years. Um, hopefully, even like the Tatis base rookies and stuff are. I think Tatis base are like uh, ten dollar cards. Yeah, now, okay, so, yeah, yep. Which is pretty good for a. Uh, Non graded, just raw rookies. So, um, there's been like no rookies in this pack so far. No, it's kind of a dud. That's how they are, though. Sometimes they're just collated that way. So, <laughs> next up, we'll get into 2020 Bowman Hanger Pack. See if we can hit something cool out of here. Definitely, these are pretty hit or miss, just but they're also quite cheap so you can buy like four yeah, of these for the yeah, price of a blaster exactly. you know, so you do get a lot of chrome in these you though. do that's the best part about them in my opinion is the amount of chrome and you actually get quite a few cards as well just prospect stuff so looking for a dominguez chrome we do have Ooh, a green, a green. paper an autograph yeah, no because they'd be flipped over every autograph uh, yeah, flipped true. over it's a first uh, jacob amaya first uh, bowman 74 out of 99 it's kind of like the last random pack video we did where I killed it in the first half. Hopefully you keep it up in the second. It's been really solid so far. Um, of course, everybody knows who to blame if I don't, right? Because he's, yeah, he's the pack distributor. I, I actually pack searched him first right. on camera and, while and you guys you, were watching. And you weighed him. And you have don't didn't you buy off of ebay some kind of x-ray goggles or something like that well yeah i own yeah. x-ray goggles so i just right. actually just looked through the packs to see what's in them beforehand right that's how he always gets the best packs if you're wondering he you can't see his x-ray goggles but i think he has them on yeah you also in case you're wondering um none of these cards are i mean we collect together obviously but monetary wise um, I do not buy these, so um, <laughs> there really would not be much point in me pack searching these to take. It's not like I take these cards and run, you know. So. Well, maybe I don't know. We just said this. Well, that's only some of the time. Yeah. Okay. Right. All right. How about a nice rookie out of here? I'd love to get another Vlad SP. That'd be cool. We've yeah, a few we these hanger boxes can be super good. I see a rainbow, so that could be cool. How about a nice Tatis though in the horizontal? That's a happen. cool card. The strike a pose. This is numbered. Yeah, that's the a weird looking Robinson. color. Dang, not Tatis. Uh, no. Eric Lore. It's not numbered. It's not numbered. That's it's weird. It's weird looking. It is very weird looking. I guess it's the orange for the team, so it's not. Yeah. Just kind of weird. Yeah. Catfish Hunter. That that's a cool a SP. SP. Yeah, old Catfish Hunter. That's cool. You gotta love that that name, Catfish Hunter. I mean, you can't get any better. It can, but hard, it's hard to beat. I mean, Wes Swackhammer kind of tops West that. Wes Swackhammer. One. That's. I'm sure everybody knows that. That's pretty much a household name. Babe Ruth, Wes Swackhammer. Yeah, pretty much synonymous pretty with each much. other. You know. So there's zero. We hit all those two series two packs. Yeah. And I get a single good rookie, but there were dud those were duds. Yeah, they were. We have a. It's quite a stack yeah, of hanger boxes. We, have a lot of we were on the, I guess, um, more progressive side of buying those early on, and it. I think it's going to pay off if these guys develop. So we have a bunch of hanger boxes of 2019 Series 2, which is pretty cool. And we don't open them up much besides on these videos, that's for sure. Yeah, we definitely don't just rip a bunch off camera no. for fun. So. we got to save them. Okay, okay yep. Yeah. Marisnik. Cisco got a rainbow foil coming up. Oh, it's a good rookie. Hopefully. Or a cool vet. Um, Hollywood Heroes. Big Air Hair. And a Merrifield. So... Good name, but um, not getting much hobby love these days. He is 
and quite a bit of Topps products as well, which sometimes devalues them, I believe. It seems like when they have so many, when they sign so many cards for Topps and Topps puts them in all these different products. But what Merrifield, we've talked about this in other videos, he's a very solid player. There's a Sandy Koufax, that guy was okay. I just looked up the Tatis, the last Chrome Refractor that sold, sold for 155. So it's a raw? Solid, yeah, yeah raw. just so raw. That's a good card. Um, out of a four dollar pack, that's pretty stinking good. So there's a Sammy Sosa. It's kind of cool. What is that? A high number or something? Yeah, I don't know. It could be. Nolan Ryan. Sosa doesn't have a lot of tops cards. No, like, you don't see him very often. Sets. So. Griffey, Oz, and Kemp. So that's oops. Put it that's in the wrong pile. You. Okay. All right. Let's do archives next. 2019 archive so we got a bunch of these from wildwood entertainment they were running a special on these trying to unload them uh, and so picked up a whole bunch for really cheap hit nothing out of them hit yeah. nothing i mean well, we hit some rookies but no a few right nothing big yeah i'm not even expecting anything big but it seemed like before when we've opened these you get an auto every few packs you know every like eight packs you open so it seemed like you get an auto of some kind but there's an Acuna. Is this that? It's an insert. That's yeah, an insert. There's another one. Now we want ink. They put ink on these, you know, these uh, magazine ones. But they're numbered to 25. Though, yeah, so they're pretty. Much they're impossible. pretty much impossible to pull. But I would love to pull one because I think those. That's a, a very nice looking card. That tops magazine. All right, 2018. This is out of a hobby box. Um, so we have a couple sealed hobby boxes that we've been going through, or at least this one, and we have an, an other ones that are sealed. This one obviously is open, but we've been using this for our random packs and Carlos Gonzalez, we're pulling some rainbow foils, wrong guys. And for our rookie chase videos, we've been using those, but so far we, oh, the wrong guy, rookie and John Gray. So 2019 update hobby. Got quite a bit of, not quite a bit, we do have, I have some 19 update heroes coming back from SGC at some point. So. Yeah, there's a Senzel, um, that's the rookie debut. A little bit of news about SGC is probably going to be getting some more orders here soon because PSA just bumped up their pricing. Again? Mm -hmm. No, not again, but oh. they well they just did like a two days ago so oh they did oh they did do, just bump it up they bumped it up a little while ago now they did it again i guess so yeah yeah the for the bulk orders they bumped oh it. bulk orders okay so I don't, know they, I don't know what the price is but well sgc is falling behind they are no longer oh, yeah. as fast as they were they got so many orders they got bogged down they are hiring and they're trying to scale up their business but they haven't been time. able to do it at as fast of a rate as they've been getting Can't submissions. Can't just pick somebody off the street and say, hey, you're going to grade cards. No. Know? And I know that um, PSA is hired as well. And they are, I think, continuing to hire. So there's a nice. Tatis. So nice. We've got a few nice Tatises out of Heritage. One really nice Tatis. Yeah, one really nice one. And 2017... Let's see if we can pull a Aaron Judge out of here. I'll just take a base rookie even. That would be cool. Those have gone up in value quite a bit as well. Aaron Judge is... Oh, that's cool. David Ortiz, 87. Aaron Judge is a very likable guy and a very good player. The question, of course, is his health. Can he stay yeah, his longevity. healthy? Because he's already had quite a few injuries. And usually guys big like that, that's the problem. But... Let's go back to 19. The last rack pack was okay, yeah. quite good. So. Heritage. We actually, I'd say though overall, these are probably our least favorite. The rack packs. The are rack the worst, packs yeah. are usually the of worst heritage of heritage. In Not just this product, but all heritage. It seems like. Watch, we pull some autograph yeah, pull some or auto something. Of some insane guy. It is a nice color. I like the dark, that's but insert. that's an insert. Yeah. See, the a lot of times the autographs have that have a little bit different um, 
a border to them. There's a there's a Kesson. That's pretty good. So we're continuing with some good uh, rookies here. Not quite as hot as the first half. Because I rigged it. But right, because yeah. he rigged it. All right. Yeah. So until this pack right here where it will just blow that Tatis out of the water. I don't think so, but. Never know. Let's see. Maybe. You have to hit a Tatis rainbow foil to beat that other Tatis or a gold or something. So. How about um, something even lower numbered? A pink Tatis. Woo. Camo Tatis. What is your favorite in or, uh, parallel? Do you like the gold, the blue, the pink, or the Independence Day? The Independence Days are definitely the best. There we Ooh, go. Nice. Tatis. So. Man, this has been a good break. It's been a tatis break. The second half hasn't been as good as the first, but not, not bad. bad. There's a gold, just not of a rookie. The Independence Days, in my opinion, are definitely the coolest looking. How about our viewers? What are your favorites out there? Um, comment below. Comment below. Let us know. Is it pink, the Mother's Day pink, Father's Day blue, the Independence Day? There's an Otani rookie cup. Camo, black. The camo, black. The black are cool. Um, or the gold. Man, go back and look at like 2014, 15. It might be, I think 16 they had it too, but the snow camos. Those are sweet. Yes. Yeah, I wish they would come back with snow camos. Snow camos are cool. All right. So, last pack of the break. I can pull a monster out of this one. Bowman is just like Bowman usually is. I mean, people have jacked. I mean, the prices got all jacked up because of the hype. But now it's coming back down. The retail is not anything mind blowing. We've opened up a lot of it, and it's just regular old Bowman retail. Yep, I would say it's not. Oh, it's not any different than any other year. It seems no. like it's not except, any except worse. Except for the fact that you, you know, like the how much the there's a scooble. First, Mount Castle. Rodriguez and Owen Miller. So the those camos, I don't know. I think they should do away with them. Or make camo chromes. That yeah. would be sweet. I think they should do away with the camo. Comment below, should they do away with the camo in these cello packs, or sh or do you like them? I just am not a big fan. I wouldn't do away with them. I'd just change what they are. Guerrero, and I love these um, top 100 cards, the inserts. I think they did a really good job with that this year. Sometimes I haven't been as impressed with them, but this year they're nice. Evan White and no f Chrome first. There's a Robert, Luis Robert rookie, and Nola and Allen. Robert has a prospect and a rookie card in here. It's I know it's whack. weird. Yeah, of course he hasn't really he hasn't really had a rookie season yeah. yet. So no, he's never played. Yeah, what's well, so. that's kind of weird too, huh? Garcia and another top 100. There's a Bobby nice. Witt. That's cool. Nice paper. Put that in the good stack. Bobby Witt sells really well. People seem to like him a lot. So There's a Wander Franco. I think you have a parallel in here. Yeah. Blue. Blue. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. Taylor, Taylor Trammell. Trammell. He's a good prospect. Obviously, it's not his first, but that's still a beautiful card. I like the blues. We pulled yeah. a blue shimmer the other day. That was cool. Yeah. So that wasn't bad. That's a pretty good pack. And then these rookies. So overall, that was a really good break. Uh, take that any day. It wasn't um, like we hit a monster autograph, but we did hit that. No, you're Tatis not really looking for, I mean, you're not no. necessarily looking for autos. And these rookie chases, you're looking more for base cards. Or and then parallels. parallels. Yeah. Yep. And that Tatis is probably one of the bigger cards besides like the bat down Acuna that we pulled out of this stuff. Yeah, so. recently, yep. Um, Tatis. Some other stuff here. Yeah, I mean, that was, a, that was a good break. Riley, Guerrero, Pete, that obviously being the biggest card. Um, Eloy, Wade Boggs, Bueller, another Hira, and then another Vlad. So definitely a very yeah, solid break there. So Definitely a good break. So let us know what you think. Uh, we have a lot of fun putting these together. We have cards stacked away or stashed away for these uh, type of breaks, and so we have fun 
doing the videos hopefully you, you like them as well if you do comment below let us know what your favorite card was out of that break and uh also let us know what your favorite parallel is in these sets and should they do away with the camo so lots of things to talk about um if you're interested thanks for watching guys please like comment and subscribe we'll see you in the next break take care and have fun collecting